What's up everybody? It's easy Bringing you the fury of flex new series. We have here on the website clashmareasy.com This page is dedicated all to one of our players flex Luger. He's got a bunch of different types of attacks that he uses this particular attack is the one that he has been using for over a year uh, It's an attack that he created named after him his greatness <laughs> uh, just to break down the attack a little bit this attack is I call it like the prequel to, to the slap attack because it's got so many similar features to it but it starts off with the bowler walk in one corner it starts off with the queen walk in the other corner the goal is to have the queen walk around one side of the base the bowlers to walk around the other side of the base and and take care of all these buildings from the outside in and then he's got this big wrecking ball uh, kill squad that consists of giants valkyries wizards and the king and he'll he'll push them through the middle use several spells in the core of the base to get the to push those troops all the way through the core of the base and if things go well all the troops meet each other in the back end of the base for one of the million three stars that he gets so this is a great attack the whole clan's been using this attack this has been an attack that he has been developing for about a year he's got the 2.0 that we're going to show at the end of the video because he's now town hall 11 this is a town hall 10 attack right here uh, now this is an attack that is actually focused uh, this is more for town hall 9s than anything else in town hall 9 you have to request the bowlers because you, you don't you can't make bowlers yourself but you request bowlers from your clan mates and you'll use the bowler walk with three healers then you will use your archer queen walk with three healers and unfortunately it really works best if your queen is level 20 or higher um, now we have got people in the clan that have lower than level 20 queen and it does work with them but you have to usually save at least one rage spell for the healers over the queen in order for the queen to stay alive the whole time but if your queen is level 20 or above and you also have to be mindful of the air defenses now people are keen on these air defenses now and they'll put them in the, the perfect location to where the queen can't reach them uh, with with her crossbow attack but yet when she walks by it the air defenses can, can reach the healers the healers have this this um, this knack for walking directly behind the queen and getting themselves in harm's way because <laughs> they get real close to the walls as they're walking behind her or flying behind her so you have to be careful of where these air defenses are and you have to attack the base from an angle to where you can either a take out the air defenses with the troop that you're walking like let the bowlers take out the air defenses or the queen take out the air defenses or time it to where the the troops that are in the core of the base are going through and taking out the air defenses before the queen gets to it or before the bowlers get to it you really want to keep those troops along the outside alive as long as possible because quite often they are the ones that live through the whole attack because depending on the defense structure and the core of the base um, you know they have we have eight giants eight valkyries and eight wizards going to the core and that's just not enough for some of these bases some of these base designs are so good that they they, they can take out all those troops in the middle but then you have these two walks going on the outside that shoot over the walls queen has a great reach and we know the bowlers have a great reach too between those two troops you can really do a lot of work from the outside working your way back in which is why those two troops work so well uh, walking on the outside of the base now there are adaptations that you're gonna have to use if you're using this attack in Town Hall 10 or Town Hall 11 In Town Hall 10 you can make bowlers yourself and you'll see in this next attack where he has actually made more bowlers made a, a few less giants and um, it's important to just be flexible <laughs> no pun intended be flexible with the troops that you make um, really pay attention to how your wh what your troops are doing what like, especially the kill squad that's going to the middle uh, look right here this is um, this is a town hall 11 that he's attacking I don't think it has an eagle artillery so it's like a 10.5 but you know you see the walls the walls are fairly well upgraded so this is a tough base it's got it has infernal towers that are active but same same strategy this is a great strategy for newer players too because you're putting everything in at one time if you look at the bar across the bottom with all the troops you'll see all these troops are going gray because he's putting them all in at one time he has the queen walk going in at the beginning he's got the bowler walk going in at the beginning now here he's just just popped the warden's ability this is this is his newest um, newest attack with, with the warden 
um, had to bring a freeze spell to, for the back end Infernal Tower, which that's really important too. If you're attacking bases with Infernal Towers, um, you want to bring at least one freeze spell to, to freeze that back end Inferno. That way, the Inferno on the back side's not burning down these troops the whole way on uh, in route to it. Um, also, be mindful of the direction you attack the base. You don't, you never want to attack a base with an infernal tower on the left and the right of the troops. You want to attack it head on to where you go through the infernal towers one at a time because regardless of the troops you have attacking two infernal towers at once is a suicide mission. You, don't, you just don't ever want to do that. So he, he went at the right angle. Notice the warden is jumping over walls and not shooting at them which um, my warden also level 5 um, has a tendency to shoot at walls. I, I'm still trying to figure out why. I've <laughs> He won't tell me why. He's giving me the silent treatment because he's heard me bitching about him so much, I guess. So you see here, all the troops are dead except for the queen, the warden, and the healers. This happens every so often too. Um, so be mindful of using the queen's ability because mo there's a lot of cases where you're going to need that queen's ability at the end of this attack. As strong as this attack is, um, it's not perfect. It's not the it's not the uh, perfect solution for every base There are bases that it doesn't do well on and you have to be mindful of the, the, the ability Save the ability towards the end of the attack if you can Because if the Queen is the only troop left and you have to get through three or four defenses You may have to use that ability to push your way through a couple of tough defenses Especially if they're positioned good and they you have like uh, an archer tower and a cannon for example shooting at you at the same time but in this case, he had a Tesla, which had short range, and then he had a Wizard Tower, which doesn't really hurt the, the Archer Queen very well. So, great attack. Got a bunch, got a bunch of uh, recordings on different flex attacks. We're going to load up the site with a bunch of different attacks. So, if the site isn't loaded up with them yet, come on back in a few days, because we're loading these things up daily. Um... This is going to be a great area to come to look at all the different attacks that Flex uses. He uses the Bragaloon, he uses the, the Flex. Uh, he's, these are all elite attacks in Town Hall 10, 9, 10, and 11. So uh, keep on coming back to this page. You're going to really enjoy what we got coming on here. So appreciate you watching till the end. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.